Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bring another Battleborn video. This time we're gonna give a guide on Melka. For those of you that don't know who Melka is, Melka is a level, I think you unlock it right around the level 30 something, or you can unlock her by completing all the campaign missions. She's a fantastic assassin type character that offers both mobility as well as some really high hitting skills. Her primary weapon is a kind of a machine pistol of sorts that does about 23 or so damage and then her secondary attack is a really strong melee attack. I really like playing Melka because it meshes really well with my playstyle which is you take pot shots at high vulnerable targets, kind of pick and choose what you're going to attack and then followed up with devastating melee attacks and devastating skills. So without further delay, let's look at her skills, her helix, uh, items, and then general tips and tricks to playing Melka. Melka's unique passive is her powering gift. Essentially, every time she reloads her weapon, she shoots out a canister that does some poison damage if it hits, and it takes for 8 seconds. Her Q and E is essentially a... One is a 360 thing that pops you up in the air that like you see right here. And then your E is essentially a teleport forward dealing damage in all the enemies in front of you. I really like her skills because it combines really well with each other. One, your Q if you spec into it deals venom damage and your E does extra damage if your target has venom. Now the unlisted thing about Melka is if you sprint and you quick melee, you slide on the ground. This is really awesome and really unique because you can use this skill to get away from a sticky situation or close the distance uh, between you and your target. So let's talk about Melka's Helix. To start off, level 1, we're going to go with purple which adds a slow effect to spike uh, the reason we picked this over blue is the purple one spike is an aoe rather than a single target like claw lunge for level two we're gonna pick blue um, largely because it adds a aoe feel to spike which leaves behind for five seconds and does damage and enemies come close to it for level three we are also going to pick purple uh, for this one, which is reloading. Instead of shooting one canister, you're now going to be shooting. For level 4 and level 5, we're going to go with blue. Uh, blue for level 4 is blade ejection, which adds a extra damage at the end of your claw lunge. And this is good because if you miscalculate your claw, lu claw lunge, you're still going to do some damage out of it. For level 5, we're going to do Adrenaline Rush, which is meleeing opponents that is affected by Venom. You're going to get plus 7 health regeneration. This is a little bit better than um, the purple one killing an enemy, uh, largely because killing is kind of... Uh, um, it, it can happen sometimes, it can't happen sometimes. It really depends if you can pop out your Venom uh, consistently. Level 6, we're going to go with blue again. Uh, increases spikes area effect, so we're adding a much bigger field. And then also parting gifts um, area effect, which is your reload. So it, it gives you a bigger uh, Venom cloud. Level 7 is kind of a given. We're going to go with blue once more, uh, largely because it switches to a more deadly venom, which means you're going to be doing increased damage in spike as well as your uh, reload, which is a plus 15%. For level 8, this is actually where you start becoming super deadly. Uh, you get blue once more, which makes your auto attacks you, from, your, from your gun apply venom as well as increase your clip size so this is actually where you start seeing some tremendous amount of damage because every single shot out of your gun is now applying venom and that means that there that thing is ticking down left right and center for level nine this is kind of up in the air dealers pick you can pick a finishing blow for like an extra damage increase or my personal pick will be Feral Strike, which is blue, which means that activating that increases your melee attack speed. So usually the way I play, 
Uh, I use claw launch to get close to the enemy so I can start following up with uh, melee attack. So I go with blue, but I do see some people use claw launch as a finisher. So if you're using it as that, then go with purple. For level 10, I personally like blue on this one. What blue does is it makes your ult uh, ultimate somewhat homing. Whereas the purple one, instead of shooting three separate bullets, you fire one single powerful one and does a tremendous amount of damage. The reason I'm kind of iffy on this is largely because if you miss, then you miss. Whereas with the three shots, you have, you know, three separate times to attack your target. So now let's talk about gear. Gear, as usual, is very... Uh, user specific so it de really depends on your playstyle I would personally pick up anything that has a modifier based on reload for example my one I get a 2.42 percent damage reduction for five seconds after a reload um, and I reload a lot with Melkers because of her passive so if you have something that you know does damage increase does health regeneration or does something Based on damage, um, based on a reload, I would definitely pick that. In addition to that, I pick up um, a health regen, the med kit kind of syringe injection thing, uh, largely because I don't want to be reliant on a Miko. So this gives me the ability to kind of stay in the fight and regen my health by just kind of being somewhat idle. And then finally, I pick up an attack damage one. You can substitute this with like one that gives you attack speed. So uh, the violent one, this one that I have is probably really useful, but it has a decent activation cost. So I go with a attack damage one to do deal a little bit more damage. You could switch this out to a skill damage one if you want, or a attack speed one as well. So general tips and tricks to playing Melka. Uh, in the beginning of the game, since you're kind of a you know, squishy character, so to speak, but you're highly mobile. You want to use that to your advantage. What you want to do is take essentially pot shots at high value targets, you know, people that are a little bit overextending, your healers that somewhat, somewhat in the middle ground, not really in the back lines or anything like that. So you want to take those pot shots and get as much of your poison as possible. In addition to taking those pot shots, you want to make sure that you maintain your poison on all the bots. That will help you lane push. And I think the ideal placement for your parting gift is right in the middle between all the bots. So here's a little display, very crudely done display. Essentially, the four circles in the front are the four mini bots, and then the one triangle in the back is the, the advanced bot that you kind of fight. So you, if you drop it right in the middle, the cloud encompasses all the bots, and that means that every single bot that's in that wave is going to be hit by your poison. Next thing you want to remember is your parting gift lasts 8 seconds and your auto rifle, even at maxed out, if you do your full clip, it's about a 8 second or so uh, cooldown between reloading. So that means you can maintain consistent DPS by just staying on target. Now, I'm really bad at it usually because I've kind of been grown up used to, you know, reloading is bad. You, it's kind of bad on DPS. So you'll see me reload at terrible times throughout. But ideally, I try to be cognizant of the fact that you want to put a whole round of bullets into your target and reload as well while maintaining target accuracy so you get the highest amount of DPS. Another thing about your poison is don't underestimate the damage of that poison. There's a couple times, actually more than a couple times, where I've lost the target but I've had some poison on them and I've ended up getting the kill because they, you know, they took poison damage. And there's been plenty of times where the target thought, hey, I'm, I got away, but I got that last parting gift on the target and that ends up, you know, essentially killing them. So make sure, you know, if you're about to lose the target or some combination thereof, put a parting gift on, uh, which is your reload. You're guaranteed to at least do some sort of damage uh, with it. 
That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our Melka guide. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you, if I missed anything, rather, please let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to add it to the next guide. Um, if you like the guide, please do like and subscribe. They'll be putting out a little bit more Battleborn videos in the future as well, depending on all the other characters that I unlock and kind of get a grasp of playing. So until next time, this is Khalif PvP. Peace.